Hey guys, welcome back to This Skin I'm In, it's Amanda, and today we're going to talk about my top five perfumes. They are not going to be in any particular order, just as I grab them. I'm going to read a little bit of description. Uh, you guys should definitely check out Fragrance X, Fragrance, I say that's so weird, FragranceX.com. It's where I get most of my perfumes from now. It's where you a site where you can buy testers at a really great price. And why do you need the fancy, tiny little bottle if you already know you like the scent when you could have the big tester that they have in Macy's or Sephora or Ulta that has the maximum amount of product that you can get and it's usually cheaper than the price in Sephora or Macy's or Ulta. So, like I said, just in any random order, I'm going to name these and read you the descriptions on them. Okay, our first one is Versace Yellow Diamond. And I got this for Christmas of 2013. And I'm going to just scroll and get my description. And they describe this as blah, blah, blah. I'm on Fragrance X website. Can you see my phone? No, you can't. There we go. I'm on the Fragrance X website to read literally what they describe this as. This sensual and sultry scent opens with juicy notes of pear sorbet and lemon before revealing a floral heart of mimosa and orange blossom that is reinforced by a lush, precious musk base. Doesn't that just sound delicious? Like, that's just a f fruity wonderland. <laughs> yeah, a fruity wonderland. We're going to call it that. But it does sound... <coughs> Let me choke to death. So, if I sound a little bit hyper or if I'm shaking a little bit it's because I had a really bad asthma attack a little while ago when I was trying to film. <sighs> I think I have asthma induced by my allergies. It super sucks, but again, we won't go there. So our next perfume is Harajuku Lover's Music and the shape that you see of the bottle there, that's of like this. That's what the actual perfume looks like. This is the tester. And they describe this perfume as invigorating notes of clementine, pear, jasmine, sambac, 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 okay, sweet pea, honeysuckle, vanilla, skin musk, and sleek woods. Okay, let's just start with, I don't want to smell like skin musk. And actually have this perfume on today. It just, I've had this one, gosh, a really long time, probably like three years now four years, yeah. It's a perfume that I've loved for a long time. It's funny, out of the Harajuku Lovers collection, I hate all the others. I think they all stink. But this one, I actually really like the scent of. Next, we have... I lied, we don't have that next. Next we have, and I don't have the top to this, but don't hate me. Next I have Heavenly by Victoria's Secret Dream Angels. And then it opened the picture. Like, I didn't want to look at the picture. I wanted to read the product details. Thank you. And this fragrance is considered a warm fragrance. And I got this as a Christmas gift, like, three or four years ago. And um, I hate when my computer freezes. And it's got notes of white musk, sandalwood, vanilla, and white peony. I'm already noticing huge trends amongst my perfumes. Like, I like a certain kind of musky scent. But not bad musky. Like, I worked out at the gym. Sexy musky, because, whoa, no one wants to smell musky. <laughs> and this perfume next that I'm going to mention, I've had for so long, as you can see, it's so empty. Little splish splash. This is Aqualina Pink Sugar, and it's just one of the sweetest, sexiest scents. Men will always tell you, or women, if that's what you're doing, whoever you're attracting will tell you that you smell like food, like a cupcake, like something delicious, because this perfume just smells so sweet and loving and mm, dessert out of the oven. <laughs> and I've had this. I've been using this perfume since I was in sixth grade. It's one of the first perfumes my mom bought me when I was a little bit older and, you know, trying to keep from being musky in the bad way. Um, and I've just grown to love this perfume. She actually loves it too now. She, like, sprays it on all her scarves and stuff. It's so cute. So they describe pink sugar as a journey through childhood with this playful scent of vanilla and caramel. And there is a little bit of sandalwood in this. I can just automatically tell. They're not really describing it well here, but um, 
it definitely has a little bit of hints of sandalwood and it's just very sweet cotton candy carnival it looks it smells like my hair looks basically that's basically the best way to describe it it smells like my hair looks and doesn't my hair look delicious of course it does when vanity strikes and then last but certainly not least this is the most recent perfume that I've purchased for myself and I got a I had to be on a waiting list on Fragrance X to wait to find out that this perfume was available again because that's how much I wanted it. I asked for it for Christmas and this fragrance probably didn't go online until like three months, two, three months ago on this site. So I waited it out till I could get it because it was sold out forever. And that is the amazing, amazing Daisy Oh So Fresh by Marc Jacobs. And this is again the tester. Um, this was the tester music was a tester and I think the other three were the actual bottles um, isn't the top so cute and actually this is basically what the actual bottle looks like only it's smaller so again why would I waste my money on the stupid little bottle when I could have the tester and it's the, like I said the newest one that I bought and it's oh, it just smells so good it's funny that I actually don't like Daisy Original why am I moving it away? I don't like Daisy Original, but I really love this, and it's funny because my mom really likes Daisy Original and hates Oh So Fresh. To each his own. This fragrance features a blend of grapefruit, green notes, raspberry, and pear for the top notes. The middle note is packed with beautiful aromas of jasmine, violet, oh, I skipped one, rose, lychee, and apple. It's a lot of things. It's a fruity, flirty garden, but I love the way it smells. Clearly, I, I go for, like, fruity kind of smells. I like a little bit of vanilla, like musk. I really try to shy away from scents that are very heavy and very demanding. Like, I really love, oh, my God, Flower Balm, Victor and Rolf. But on a good day, it can smell really good on me, and on a bad day, it can smell really bad on me. And it's one of those scents that, like, you kind of have to play it by ear. And I... By ear, and I don't like that because I kind of want to make sure I smell pretty much the same all the time. But these are five scents that I feel like can only enhance unless you're dirty, <laughs> and I'm dirty. So you should give them a try. And if you, why don't you tell me in the comments below your top five perfumes, no specific order? Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.